Should a killer be excused because his actions are random? Everything that happens is either predictable or unpredictable. You probably prefer predictability. You want to know that the gas pedal always makes the car go and the brake always makes it stop. The functions of the pedals never randomly switches. However much you like predictable, today I'm going to talk about events that aren't. There are two reasons that an event is unpredictable. One is that the cause of the incident is so complicated the outcome can't be known. This is called classical uncertainty. The event can't be forecasted because all the variables and their values aren't known. An example of classical uncertainty is predicting the weather. Scientists are pretty good with it, but far from perfect. I'm looking out the window today and it's a beautiful sunny day and yet the forecast was for thunderstorms. They don't always get it right. The other type of unpredictable event is one that is inherently random. The time that the event occurs is not knowable. This is called quantum uncertainty. Its name derives from things that only happen at the atomic level. There are very few events that fall into the class of quantum uncertainty but you probably already know one. That is the decay of a radioactive atom. If you have a single atom of tritium, no one knows when it will decompose, giving off a beta particle. It's not that there is a hidden variable, but the time of decay is 100% random. It's not determined by any other thing. There is another kind of quantum uncertainty. Molecules can also be unstable when they have excess energy. They are in an excited state. Thus, it's random when a single excited molecule gives off its excess energy. An example of molecules going into an excited state is when your stove transfers energy into a pan of water. The energy is absorbed absorbed by its molecules. When you turn off the burner, the water begins to cool. That is the process of the water transferring its energy to its surroundings. The time at which any single water molecule is going to emit its excess energy is unknown. The event is random. What does all this have to do with you? It raises some significant philosophical and ethical questions. Take for example the man that shoots a bunch of people at a parade. It's a deplorable act. The man should be held responsible and put in prison for the rest of his life. But what if a key molecule behaved randomly when his fetal brain was forming? That one minute molecular event caused his brain to develop abnormally. His whole life was negatively shaped by an event when he was in utero. Can you blame him for the crime? Leave your comments and questions below or contact me at my email address. Until the next video, remember humility, thanks, and joy.